I call you pretty, but it never goes as planned. You think it's funny? I'm just trying to be a man. I wanna show you in the best way that I can that I'm so in love with you. Try to be serious, but you can never tell. It isn't easy to confess how hard I felt when we've just been friends since the day we met. I don't know what to do. Cause how can I try to cross all the lines that we've always had between you and I the soon? If I'm just a friend to you How can I make you change your mind to see me different? Wish I could get your eyes on my prescription Cause maybe all it takes is the same vision For me to get your heartbeat going just as fast as mine Cause I could be your guide I see you by my side Maybe I'm just blind Or maybe I'm too serious I try to keep it in my head But it isn't really going well Feeling like we gotta meditate But I can't escape And now I hate myself I hate my thoughts For thinking about you And I'm thinking a lot Cause I'm never around you I will tell you but I don't know how to Say what I'm feeling Now I've been feeling down Cause I feel the distance growing Spending more days without you Don't like where we are going Is it so weird to think that We could be more than friends Am I just overthinking? Am I not making sense? Cause maybe I could change your mind to see me different And I could get your eyes on my prescription And maybe all it takes is the same vision For me to get your heartbeat going Just as fast as mine And then I could be your guide You know I keep you by my side but maybe I'm just blind Or maybe I'm too serious da 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 Hello everyone, uh, this is my voice. Um, so one person asked me on TikTok, what are the common questions being asked on data analyst interviews? I already forgot them. Really, after being accepted, so I had to Google them and found this article from Coursera. Uh, let me try to answer them based on what I remember I said during my interviews. So number one and the most common question of all, um, well, technically it's not a question, but it's tell me something about yourself. I answered it in three parts. Number one, facts about me, like my name, age, my college degree, and where I studied. Number two, work experiences uh, related to data analytics. Um, for, for example, which country I worked with before, my job title, and how many years. Then I proceed to describe the projects I did related to data analytics. What projects I did, um, and what tools did I use, and so on. During this moment, I tried to humbly, humbly brag what I accomplished. And number three, why I'm interested in the position they posted. Um, I emphasize how similar the requirements are to the contents of my CV. I try to give all the details I expect them to ask so that there will be less questions from them. I already answered uh, number two by explaining what projects I did. So yeah. So, what do data analysts do? All right. So, let's go to number three. Um, number three is my most favorite question to answer. Uh, this is where you try to impress them. If you did some projects um, from YouTube tutorials or boot camps, this is the best time to make them shine. I answered this using the STAR method. I explained how I did an automation using app script to make Google workplace applications communicate with each other. So it's a different uh, programming language uh, by Google. Uh, it's a Google uh, JavaScript version, I think. Um, that eliminated manual repetitive work. I also emphasized that it was not part of my job description to automate anything using programming languages, but I was eager to eliminate manual work because I'm lazy, okay? Um, 
eliminate manual work in the process. It saved me and my teammates time. So I was really proud to tell that, that to the hiring manager. Yeah. So yeah, if you have um, portfolios from, for example, your bootcamp, uh, you can show that as well. Um, you can make it a PowerPoint and then um, share it. If your interview is via Zoom or on anything online, you can show it to your hiring manager so they can see anything visual. Um, it's easier to explain and story tell everything that you did um, during your past experiences. Okay, let's go to number four. What's the late, late, uh, largest data set you've worked with? Um, my answer is 300 um, MB. Uh, that's not too big, actually. Uh, so, number five is interesting, too. I got asked about this when I was a beginner. Uh, story time again. Uh, the consultant from Boston Consulting Group, who was working with that company I was applying for at that time, asked me two questions. So, one is, how do you estimate the number of flights going in and out of Metro Manila? I was not able to answer this question. Um, but... Then she gave me another chance. Um, so that's question number two, which is how do you estimate the number of windows in the buildings of Metro Manila? So um, I thought of there should be a number of windows per building for ventilation, right? So there must be something in the construction code of the Philippines um, written there, um, a number uh ratio of windows per area not so sure about that but that's what i said and then multiply that average area per floor multiply that to average floors per building and then multiply that to the record of buildings there should be a record right record of buildings in metro manila um both uh, residential and commercial buildings so you get what I mean? It's an estimate. The point of this question is they like to know how they approach analytical questions. So number six, cleaning uh, data. Um, I was not asked about this, but I encountered this issue of duplicate entries in my previous work. Uh, the, with these kind of issues on data, it is important that the stakeholder or someone who has the business knowledge decide if duplicate data should be retained or deleted. So that's my opinion. These may be in the, uh, an error in the system that they are using. So yeah, that's my take for number six. For number seven, um, how do you explain technical concepts to a non-technical audience? Um, so I use as much as possible plain English. I don't use jargon or acronyms in case I try to define the term and ask the audience it's very important i ask the audience if they have questions uh, before proceeding to the report number eight uh tell me about a time when you got an expected result um again as someone knowledgeable especially the accuracy of the data one of the performance metrics of a data analyst is accuracy it is important to show accurate data it's very important otherwise no one will use the dashboard i've already seen this kind of drama um no one will use your dashboard that you created um and all your hard work will be thrown in the trash so yeah uh let's proceed with number nine how would you go about measuring the performance of our company <laughs> um it's basically uh based on reviews um i just Check Google and read the reviews and also the rating of the company. So, yeah. What technical analytics software are you familiar with? Um, so, this is straightforward. I've already mentioned this earlier um, in my, actually, in my introduction. I also added how I use them. For example, how I use Python, how I use SQL, um, using Excel for different kinds of projects um, number 11 what scripting languages are you trained in I'm not actually trained but I am self-taught um, and I was able to solve problems because I like the creative side of problem solving there is no one answer uh, especially in programming languages so I like Python to so just show them like how mo how many months I studied Python what um, free courses I um, joined online. So yeah, that's basically it. 
Um, number 12, what statistical methods have you used in data analytics? Um, I have not been asked this question because most of the companies I joined, uh, they only require basic um, descriptive analysis. I haven't done any prescriptive analysis, so I didn't use any statistical model um, to for me to have to be required of, for example, using mean or standard deviation, etc., and correlation, and among other things. Number thirteen, how have you used Excel for data analysis in the past? Very basic. Um, I just um, the, my formula go-tos for Excel are VLOOKUP, I use also Viva tables, uh, nested ifs, and uh, what else? Basically, that's it. Um, don't use um, match, index match, not so much. Okay, explaining the terms, um, this is already advanced for my level, to be honest. Um, these are more connected to machine learning, so... I will skip this question. Uh, can you describe the difference between ya? Yeah, so, again, there is something about SQL and Tableau, but I haven't used this, like one sample t-test. Yeah. So, clustered and non-clustered index. Uh, yeah, I haven't done anything uh, on these topics. Yeah, so, I'll skip that as well. For the final question, do you have any questions? Um, I usually ask about the culture of the company, what's the day-to-day -day activities, engagement. Um, and I also ask once, how would you describe your best uh, data analyst or data scientist? For me to gauge um, the hiring manager's expectations of their best uh, data analyst. So there you go. I hope this gives you an idea how the interview goes. I call you pretty, but it never goes as planned You think it's funny, I'm just trying to be a man I wanna show you in the best way that I can That I'm so in love with you Try to be serious, but you can never tell It isn't easy to confess how hard I felt When we've just been friends since the day we met I don't know what to do Cause how can I try to cross all the lines that we've always had? The last question I'm going to answer for this vlog is from TikTok again. What is the most important skill for a data analyst? Actually, there is no only one skill. It's a combination of many skills that are both soft and technical, like our puff girls no sugar spice and everything nice but if you ask me this is my opinion i think the most the one most important skill is problem solving it is the most used skill in the industry and in life actually as almost all of the tasks is how are you going from start to finish you know there's excel sql uh tableau you can google all of those technical skills there's a ton of resources for that in the internet that's how i got them but your resourcefulness and creativity of solving the problem plus critical thinking knowing what the right questions to ask these already solves half of the problem with your stakeholder or your internal client which by the way is why you get paid not the flashy diploma not the bootcamp certificates so yeah hope this answered your question all it takes is the same vision for me to get your heart going just as fast as mine And then I could be your guide, you know I keep you by my side